fiery horse with the speed of light, the cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. First Transcontinental Railroad was one of the most important steps in the winning of the West. The railroad was of prime importance to the future of the country, but powerful forces, cattlemen, stagecoach lines, and steamship companies opposed it. Outlaw opposition sprang up, and the Lone Ranger was commissioned by the President to lead the fight against the enemies of progress. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. We're heading for the North Woods. Well, Silver, away! Building the Great Central Railroad across the country was a gigantic task. Steel rails and supplies had to be shipped from the east. Men recruited from all parts of the country. And from the great forests of the Northwest Territory came the huge trees which were turned into ties to support the iron horse. Timber! Timber! Eh, bien. Not a tree for the railroad to use. Your handle's Antoine Bordet. I want to talk with you for a couple of minutes. Eh? Sure thing, I'm Antoine Bordet. You want to make talk with me? What, uh, what is your name, monsieur? You can call me Pollard. You are not from this country, eh? Uh, nope, I'm down uh, around Omaha. My business is uh, cattle. Bien, I make talk with you. Hey, Jacques! Montana! Slide this log down spillway. Pretty soon it's come time to float log raft down river, we? Oui? Come on. I reckon this spot's good enough, Bordy. Eh? There's a raft of logs going down to Missouri pretty soon. Is that right? Perhaps so, monsieur. To be used as railroad ties for the Great Central, huh? You make talk, monsieur. But they... He listen. Kino. Well, when that raft of logs gets downriver, the railroad men figure on cutting them up into the right length. It'd be too bad if something happened to them railroad ties, wouldn't it? Something happened? Why, sure. It's a long way down river. There might be a log jam, or the logs might get smashed at white water. Oh, or... oh no, no, monsieur. Me, myself, I ride down river with the lumber. Me, on one more day, by God, I am best lumberman on Tree River. I take that raft of logs down river so soft it's like a little baby that sleep in a cradle. <laughs> sure. Sure, I savvy, but uh, supposing somebody made it worth your while, buddy. Huh? What'd you say? I mean, suppose you fixed it so something did happen, so that, uh... Well, here. Money talks. No, you know. It sounds like money. Go ahead, open it. Take a good look. What? Wow. It's solid gold coin. Double eagles, boy. Eh? 300 cash. It's, uh, yours. We? Oui. It's a lot of money for... Sacred bread. What that you say? This she's for me for Antoine Bourdais? Yeah. 
Provided you make doggone sure the railroad doesn't get those railroad ties. Now, what do you say to that? What I say? I say this. I show you how Antoine Bourdet do. Hey, you look all go me. Mais no, monsieur. You are too hot in the head. You need water to cool you off. Oui. Let go, you Henri Polkett. Let go or I'll shoot you so full of holes. You drop the... six gun, monsieur. Drop it. Uh, here. Now, you, you know the share. I show you what there's like to tell me. You need water. Very funny. I shake him like muskrat. Then I throw him into the river. <laughs> he looked like she's drowned rat. I swear to you, Mademoiselle Barclay, never have Antoine Bourdais see anything. Wait, Antoine. Antoine. What did you say his name was? Oh, Pollard. That was the name he gave me. Pollard. Hmm, I was afraid of that. Huh? Antoine, you know I work for the railroad. I'm secretary to Colonel Parkman in charge of construction. He sent me up here especially to see you. Certain, ma. These are no for oh, sure. Please. This man, Pollard, offered you money to stop the railroad from getting the lumber. Yeah? The money I keep. But if you think Antoine Bourdais will ever do something that is not right, then I am very upset, ma'am. Oh, no, you don't understand. I know you can be trusted implicitly. Only... We? Oui? Well, there's no way of proving it. But this man, Pollard, may be a member of the... The Iron Spur. That's what? You've heard of the Iron Spur? For sure. Antoine, unless the railroad has that lumber in two weeks, Colonel Parkman may have to give it up. Eh? A railroad must be built according to schedule, Antoine. The government is paying for it. But unless a certain number of miles are laid each week, then the government has the right to withdraw from the agreement. Our supply of railroad ties is running short. You can't lay track without ties. Oh, <laughs> do not concern yourself with this matter, mademoiselle. Two weeks? That is nothing. It takes but one week to get low raft down river. One week, yes, if nothing goes wrong. The iron spur? I, I didn't come up here alone, Antoine. I have some, some friends. I want to tell them about the log raft, all about it. Now tell me, Antoine, when do you float them downstream? How many men will you take? Where will the difficulties be? Uh, it get plenty cold here at night. Well, this is the north woods, Toto. I me mean, like prairie better. Up here, no buffalo, no cattle, no antelope. Only tree and cold. You've been on the Texas panhandle in the winter, Toto. This is nothing to the cold that hits there. Uh, where Miss Barkley, huh? She was at the lumber camp, seeing a man named Antoine Bourdais. You think Iron Spur make trouble? Pollard came up here, Toto. Ah, uh, him plenty bad hombre. About a dozen men with him. Every one of them gunfighters. Railroad need lumber. Heap fast. Just as soon as we can get... Steady, Silver, steady. Go. Go. Oh, oh. Oh. That girl. She said she'd have news for us. Over that way, Toto, toward the river. Ah, uh, get him up, Scout. Come on, Silver. Go on the saddle, Toto. Trees hang over the trail. There water now. There she is. Left, Toto. Along the riverbank. Steady, Silver. Steady. Oh, 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 oh. Hello, Miss Barkley. I knew you'd be here. We were arranging the woods, waiting for your signal. There's trouble? It's already started, masked man. Pollard attempted to bribe the boss lumberman. Uh, Pollard, no good. No need to worry yet, Toto. Miss Barkley knows about it. That means a lumberman isn't playing Pollard's game. Antoine Bourdais is completely loyal. And I'm sure he'll keep all the lumbermen loyal, too. Only... Yes? Well, it's a long distance down the river. Those logs pass through rapids and swift currents. If Pollard and his men start trouble, they'll have ample time for it. Pollard, him from Plains country. Him not know anything about lumber. Oh, yes, Tano. But Pollard has other men with him. What's that? Men who know about logging? Yes, two lumberjacks named Bordell and Sladen. Masked man, you'll have to watch Pollard and his gang every minute. Where is he now, Miss Barkley? Oh, camping out in the woods someplace. We couldn't be sure where. Oh, we find him. They must have come up the west bank of the river. It's the only trail from the south. And we'll start looking there. Uh, you'll stay at the lumber camp? Until the logs are started downstream. Then I'm going along. Sometimes by horse, sometimes by bateau. Uh -huh. What's that? Yeah, it's a riverboat tunnel. It's a French name for a small boat. Not much larger than a canoe. Oh. You may not see us, Miss Barkley. Just remember, I don't know I'll be nearby all the time. If there's danger, 
You can count on us. The railroad needs your help, masked man. And so does the country. Adios, Miss Barkley. We'll find those outlaws. Don't worry. Come on, Silver. Get him up. Just count. That campfire. Yes. Head ahead. Steady, boy. Steady, boy. Oh, 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 oh. oh. uh, that campfire. But me not savvy. Fire out in water. Yes. Tonto see in daylight there's no island in water. It's a log raft, Tonto. It's anchored about 20 feet out in the current. Oh, that right. Tonto see now. Steady, big fella. Huh? What you do? I've got to learn their plans. Here, take my gun belt. Huh? Take it. I'm going out there. Out there? But we not have boat. How you... I'll go... swim out. It's dark. I can pull right alongside of that raft and hear everything that's said. Um, me go with you. Oh, no, Kimosabe. But that heap dangerous. They see you in water, they shoot you, maybe. You not got guns. There's you... a risk only one of us can take. Stay here on the bank and guard the horses. If uh, anything goes wrong... Uh-huh. Well, if something does happen, Tano, then it's up to you. Remember, we've got to make sure those logs get to the railroad. Adios. Adios, Kimosabe. Wait for me. Hanged if I like this living on a raft. Give me a saddle any time. Pretty soon I'll be getting webs on my feet. You went to the lumber camp, Waddell? Yeah, asking for a job. I knew there wasn't no job. Don't take all night. Get to the point. The logs will be in the spillway by tomorrow. Day after tomorrow, the time together will form a log raft and start floating them downstream. You sure? Mister, I know lumbering. The water's just right. It won't be in another week. I don't savvy. What do you mean the water's just right? It's just high enough, that's what I mean. High enough so as most of the rocks are covered and not so high that the current's moving too fast. Kino, go on. How many men? Baudet and three others. Only four for all those logs? Those gents know their business. Four is enough. The only place they'll have any trouble will be Coffin Rapids. It's white water, plenty fast and hard to travel. Coffin Rapids, sir? Yeah. There's plenty of hombres died in Coffin Rapids, Pollard. Mm. You reckon that's the best place for us to do our job? It sure is, Pollard. None better. We got twice as many men. Yeah. Now here's what Bordet will do when he gets that log raft to the upper end of the rapids. He cuts the logs free, Savvy. Yeah. And lets them ride through the rapids one at a time. That way, the current keeps them from smashing into the rocks. There's a still pool down below the white water, and they can gather the logs into a raft again. You follow me? Yeah, Waddell, well, but what happens if Bordet should forget to stop the log raft before it hits Coffin Rapids? He won't forget, mister. If those logs are tied together when they get them to the rocks and fast currents, they'll smash to smithereens. There won't be nothing left of them but toothpicks. You're sure of that? I was a lumberman before he turned to gunfighting, mister. Fine, fine. That's mighty interesting. We Mordell, can... Sladen, what in blazes oh, are quiet, you? quiet, not so loud. I've been watching this end of the raft. There's something funny. Huh? Looks like a man's head close to the edge. I don't see nothing. Yeah, you can't. From here, the logs are in the way. Might be a muskrat. Don't be or... loco. No muskrat would come this close. Yeah, that's what I figured. Take off your boots, Mordell. Huh? Take off your boots and bring your gun. Sladen, go on talking like nothing was wrong. Me and Waddell are going to walk over to that corner of the raft ready to shoot, Savvy. Now start talking. Well, sure, Pollard. I done a lot of timber cutting. Back a couple of years, I was in the Ohio Valley. Black walnut hard as rock. It's so tough it took the bit right off the axe. Another step. What's that, Pollard? Boy, sure I can skin a log, right? There he is. It's a man. Get him. Get him. Why, you? He's pulling those. Come on. He's wearing a mask. The Lone Ranger. Don't waste time, Waddell. Use your gun. Yeah, stand back. Get him before he gets away. He's gone. You got him, Waddell. Nice shooting. Curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
story. The next day, Tonto watched beside the river with Silver and Scout standing near him. There was no sign of the Lone Ranger. There had been no further sign of him since the volley of shots rang out from the raft anchored in the swift current. Miss Barclay, me make talk with you. Tonto, you startled me. Uh Uh-huh. Tonto not want anybody see him. Me stay in trees. What's the matter, Tonto? Look. Where's the Lone Ranger? Tonto do what mask friends say. Tonto, what's happened? Lone Ranger go into water to listen to Iron Spur Outlaw. To learn what they do. Yes, what did he find out? Tonto not savvy that. But you said he went to learn their scheme. That's right, but... Yes. Tonto wait. Lone Ranger not come back. He didn't come back? Tonto. No. Lone Ranger... Him say, Tonto make sure logs get down river. And Tonto come to help. We not talk about anything else, huh? It seems incredible. We not talk anymore, huh? Better we not talk. Uh, I understand. You, you'll go down river when we do. deeper water. Pierre, yeah. push out from shore. The log, we take them to railroad, eh? Come on. <laughs> alouette, chante, alouette. Alouette, chante, Ah, time for Tonto to go, too. He takes Scout Silver down river. Keep up with log, like mass friends say. Here's Scout. Here's Silver. Matter. Silver! Silver! <laughs> Scout, what happened? Silver, him gone! Yes, sir, it's gonna be as easy as falling off a Bronco. How soon do we get to Coffin Rapids, Waddy Hill? Just around the next bend, Pollard. Yeah, we're well ahead of the log drive, aren't we? Yeah. Here we are, Pollard. Dance the rapids. Green up, gents. Oh, 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 oh okay. Hey. <laughs> Kino, Waddy Hill. Now that I see the rapids, I say, heavy just what you mean. No log raft could last a half hour in that water, mister. Well, day will tie up right below us when he gets here, Pollard. Yeah? It's the only place where the bank slopes right down to the water. The rest is too steep. And they take the supplies and so on off the raft. They'll sleep ashore overnight. They won't stay on the raft? Don't be loco. They're going to break the raft up, aren't they? Separate the logs so each one can float through the white water separately. Well, that's so. Uh, guess you hit the nail on the head. Sure. Bordy and three other gents, huh? Don't forget that railroad woman, that Miss... Uh... Well, Miss Barkley? Kino, four men and the girl. We got a dozen of us. Gather around, gents. Sure. Now, here's a scheme. They'll tie the raft to the shore overnight while they sleep. In the middle of the night, we go down there and we... Finish him off? No, we won't do no shooting if it ain't necessary. All we got to do is cut the rope and swing the raft free into the current, isn't it? Yeah, I reckon so. Sure it's so. So that's what I say. We watch from up here, keeping under cover. Making sure we see just where they tie the raft up to the shore. When we ride in, we move fast and sudden, see? Waddell and Sladen jump off their horses and cut the raft loose. The rest of us stand by with our guns ready. Most likely, we won't even need them. Now, we'll have that raft cut adrift. We'll be galloping halfway up the slope before those lumberjacks even wake up to what's happened. <laughs> By then, it'll be too late. There ain't nobody can swim in that water. It's moving like a stampede in a herd. <laughs> Dino, gents. Now, let's get... Quiet. Listen. That's them, Pollard. It's the lumberjacks. They're just above the bend. Yeah. I reckon we do that little job tonight. All right, gents, vamoose. We'll be back. Come on, get him Where are you 
Gaetano. This way. The logs have come this far without the slightest trouble. Is there any sign of Pollard and his band? No. Tonto not find trail. You didn't. Ground all rock around here. Pollard someplace nearby, but Tonto not know where. And there's no sign of silver. No. Him gone three day now. Oh, Tonto, if only the Lone Ranger were here. If only he hadn't. Uh, don't. I'm sorry. I promise not to speak of him anymore. I'll keep my promise. But somehow, I can't help feeling that... That Lone Ranger, him alive? Yes. But sometimes when I was riding along the riverbank and poor Day and the lumberjacks were singing on the raft, suddenly I, I would seem to hear the thunder of Silver's hoofs. But I never saw him. Uh -huh. And at night... I've awakened from my sleep positive that I've heard the masked man's voice. Do, do you think it was all a dream? Don't a dream like that, too. Maybe Lone Ranger him talk to us from happy hunting ground. Don't to not savvy. He, he might be alive. After all, Tonto. Tonto. What's that? Kimber Sabi. A bullet. A silver bullet. Oh, Tonto. He is alive. Look, look up there. There, Lone Ranger. Tiny. That's what happened, Otto. One of them must have seen me, and they took me by surprise. They were reaching for me while I was still listening. And then what happened? And Tonto, hear shots? Yes, I dove under the water. One of them fired at close range, and I was hit. And that bandage on your forearm. Yes, Miss Barkley. The water took some of the force from the bullet, so the wound wasn't bad. Knocked me out for a while, though. Tonto, wait on shore. I was unconscious, Tonto. I suppose a current floated me downriver. When I opened my eyes, I was on a sandbar. I fixed my wound and headed back upriver. By that time, Tano had left the place where he'd been waiting. Ah, and you follow and get silver, huh? That's it, Kimosabi. I was a little bit weak. I couldn't have been thinking very clearly, or I'd have let you know somehow. The only thing in my mind was to get help, so I rode away fast. Help? What kind of help? Now, Miss Berkeley, I heard enough that night to know what Pollard plans to do. He and his men are heading somewhere near here. Mm, that's right. They said something about Coffin Rapids. And what would happen if the log raft went into the rapids with the logs still tied together? Why, they'd smash to kindling. Yes. Where are the lumberjacks now? Four day and the others? They're asleep. And wake them up. Do it as quietly as possible. Tell them to get aboard the raft with Tonto. Uh-huh. To get aboard right now. And I'll be up above on the shore with the men I brought. Now, here's my plan. Sleeping. Campfires down to ashes, Paula. You can just make out the sleeping bags. It's dark beyond that. The raft is there. It must be. Kino, gents, move down the slope. Travel slow and easy till I give the word. Then we move in fast. Yes. The outlaws rode down the slope, swinging wide to circle the dying campfire. As they approached the river, the white cap showed against the black rush of the current. They saw the log raft held against the bank with two long lines. Two lines. We can cut them easy, Paula. <laughs> Looks like we'll take them completely by surprise, gents. Won't have to ride fast at all. Now we'll just get... Hey, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. He's one time we were ready for him, eh? What blazes? Pollard, they tricked us. They're on the raft. They got guns. They were waiting for us. They're shooting. We ain't licked yet. We got them two to one. Right into them. Use your guns and keep busy. We'll show them. What the... Pollard, it's the mass man. It can't be. It is. What are we going to do? We're caught between two fires. The outlaws were thrown into confusion. While Bourdain and his lumberjacks peppered them from the raft, the Lone Ranger thundered down the slope, followed by a half dozen soldiers. Half the outlaws gave up the fight at once. The others jumped off their horses and clambered aboard the log raft. The Lone Ranger followed them even there. Wake him up! Wake him up! Stop shooting! Oh, yours, Corporal. Right, mass man. The ones on shore are under arrest, and these hombres here got all the fight took right out of them. We didn't know that the masked man was alive. He's alive, all right. It takes more than a couple of snakes like you to finish the Lone Ranger. Ranger. All right, Miss Barkley. It's all over. These logs can go through to the railroad. Oh, I'm and I... so glad. And no one was even wounded. No one was Kimo even wounded. Kimo Sabi. Kimo Sabi. Hello, what is it? Look. Look there in water. It, oh, it's a man. What happened? It's a bote. Him slip on that giraffe, fall into current. Oh, oh. oh masked man. He can't swim. He can't swim, and the current is so swift he'll drown. Hello, Corporal. Out of the way. Now, what you do? We can't let him drown. Come on, Silver. Man, no. Come on, Silver. We're going after him. Into the water, old boy. Jump, Silver. That's it, Silver. And the current's strong. We'll have to fight every inch. Boy, hey. Help, help. Yeah, that's 
Silver, he needs us. Come on, Silver. Help, help. Correct. This way, Bourdain. Try to swim this way. I cannot swim, monsieur. I've got you. Here, here. Hold on to the saddle horn. Uh, monsieur, I'm one more day. I thank you. Hold on, Bourdain. It isn't over yet. Got to get to shore. This time we're swimming against the current. La bon Dieu. Better you let Bourdain sink and go by yourself. No. Silver can do it. But no, he can. Here, old boy, I slipped out of the saddle. I'm in the water beside you. You haven't any weight on your back, Silver. Now turn, Silver. Get back to shore. Come on, Silver. The great stallion responded. Inch by inch, he fought the strangling rush of water, forged his way back to the level beach, pulling the lumberjack with him. Good boy, Silver. You did it, big fella. You made the shore. Good work, Silver. Miss Barclay, I tell you this one thing for sure. Never before has Antoine Bourdais swallowed so much water. The Lone Ranger saved your life, Antoine. We oui, first he saved the log for the railroad, then he jumped into the river and saved my life. And that horse, my foi. There's no horse like silver anywhere. Hey, where'd he go? I won't thank them for what they do for me. I won't shake They're hands gone, with them. gone, Antoine. Huh? The Lone Ranger never waits for thanks, Antoine. Oh, look, there they go now. See them up the slope? The Lone Ranger and Tonto beside them. They're still on the trail of the Iron Spur. Eh, that Lone Ranger. He won't find man, no? I tell you this for true, mademoiselle. That fellow, he start out for the get Iron Spur, then by Gary, get Iron Spur. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs>